We've been warned for months now about the invasive zebra mussels in Lake Travis clinging to boats and found along the shoreline. And now several Central Texas cities are coming together to make sure the little shellfish do not jeopardize your drinking water. As KXA's Lauren Kravitz explains, it involves a chemical you may not have heard of. Cool ripples under the scorching sun are inviting. You're going to notice them more and more. Until you learn there's a threat just below the surface. Zebra mussels have invaded Lake Travis. Now other parts of Central Texas are getting proactive to protect your drinking water. The plan is to build a chemical treatment station at the Cedar Park Water Treatment Plant to prevent mussels from sticking to and clogging these floating water intakes. They also provide water to the Brushy Creek Regional Utility Authority, Leander and Round Rock. The intake has screens on it that filter things out of the water and so we're going to put special coatings there that make it so that they can't attach to it. They'll also put an oxidant in the water so mussels don't jam the pipes. They're going to continue to float through that pipeline back to the treatment plant where we can remove them. And we come out to camp starting before there's a problem makes sense to Lindsay Fetica who gets her water from Lake Travis. Working on it you know five years ahead of time is way better than working on it while it's happening. If left untreated the mussels could clog the entire pipeline. It could reduce the capacity of the system so you'd be able to pump less water. City leaders are hoping the million dollar fix keeps the water flowing. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. The Round Rock City Council will vote this Thursday to help fund the chemical treatment station. Leander will vote next week. If approved, the treatment would take effect early next year. And here's a look at the name of the chemical, permanganate. It's approved by the state as safe to drink. It's used for water treatment to control taste and odor, iron and manganese.